Hi, I'm Nick and I like comics. Hello, I'm Adam and I know comics. Welcome to another episode of Imperious Arcs where we cover major story arcs and other comic related tidbits to better inform and nerdify the world. Today we will be exclusively talking about Ant-Man. And Giant Man. No, I said Ant-Man. Yep, and Goliath. No, Ant-Man. That's what I'm talking about. Yellow Jacket and the Wasp. I just want to talk about Ant-Man, huh? We're talking about Dr. Henry Hank Pym, a scientist adventurer who has at one time or another been known as all of these names. Oh. We've mentioned his character in a couple other videos, so we figured we would explain a little about who he is. So we've previously talked about how he helped form the Avengers. And he was in the issues of the first appearance of Ultron. You know, shameless self-promotion is totally cool, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just go leave this here for a minute. Okay, sounds good. Okay. But the question at hand today is, who is Hank Pym? Dr. Hank Pym is a biochemist who was once married to a Hungarian woman named Maria Travaya. Unfortunately, he became a widower after her murder during a trip to her home country. After some time later, while studying subatomic particles, he discovered a particular group of particles that he named Pym's particles, which he could use to shrink his body down to the size of an ant. He ended up trapped in an anthill the first time he did it, and after escaping, decided to create a device, a helmet, to control the ants, thus becoming the Ant-Man. The helmet used sonic waves or some other Stan Lee science to control the ants. He winds up donning the suit to defend his lab assistants when they are attacked by the KGB while working on a government project. Janet Van Dyne, also known as the Wasp, becomes a superhero after her father, who was one of Hank's colleagues, is murdered by an alien and Hank decides to help Janet catch her father's killer. Together they team up to cut him down to size. Get it? Because they're small, they're tiny. Together they fought villains such as Egghead, Trago, the Porcupine, the Human Top, the original Black Knight, and over the course of time as crime fighters, they began to fall in love. Oh. During the early part of their superheroic career, they helped form the Avengers. And they were part of the team that actually rescued Captain America from the big block of ice. Dr. Hank Pym is a character with a lot of ups and downs. There's, there's my joke. He figured out how to use Pym's particles to grow in size and took on a new role on the team as Giant Man. He then switched his name to Goliath because he can't make up his mind about what he wants to be called. And he's the guy who created Ultron, which makes little sense because his field is biochemistry, not robotics. But due to Stan, Stan Lee, Lee logic, 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 science is science is science. He once accidentally smashed a vial on himself that caused his personality to radically transform. He takes on the persona of Yellow Jacket and immediately rushes to Janet to ask her to marry him before he was too repressed. Yellow Jacket claimed to kill Hank Pym and take his place, although nobody believed him and Janet married him anyway. So messed up. His personality reverts, but he's still kind of messed up in the head. He ended up going through a lot of stuff that gets him in trouble with the Avengers, like hitting his wife. Yeah. Uh, he gets completely broke and he steals adamantium. Admittedly, this was a setup by the Masters of Evil. During the trial for the theft of the adamantium, they put members of the Masters of Evil on the stand and they actually testify to him not being guilty. He walks away, but understandably, he lost his whole wife in this situation. For a while, he hangs out as a West Coast Avenger, simply as Dr. Hank Pym's scientific adventurer. He still felt pretty low and had thoughts of suicide, but he began an off and on again relationship with Janet. Then he became Giant Man again, then switched back to Yellow Jacket soon after. Jeez, dude, identity crisis? No, that's a DC story arc written by Brad Meltzer. Oh, my bad. Or equivalently terrible, outdated phrase. Before the Secret Invasion story arc, he was replaced by a scroll. And in case you don't know, scrolls are a shape-shifting alien race determined to take over the Earth. After the invasion was stopped, Hank returned home. After the death of Janet during the Secret Invasion, Hank takes on her mantle as the Wasp. During a spectacular run on Mighty Avengers by Dan Slott, Hank creates a new team of Avengers and during their adventures, runs into the embodiment of the universe. The universe proceeds to tell him he is the Scientist Supreme, like how Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty impressive, but wouldn't that go to someone like Iron Man, Tony Stark, or maybe Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards? You know, Hank asked the exact same question, and the universe said, nope, Hank Pym is Earth Scientist Supreme. So after his time as the Wasp, he goes back to the mantle of Giant Man again, and has since kept the name as he's kept working with Avengers Academy, and also on the team of the Secret Avengers. Most recently, he was in the story Rage of Ultron. This is a great arc featuring Dr. Hank Pym and his created son, Ultron. It's recent enough that it should be easy to find at your local comic shop or in digital format. We hope that you enjoyed this quick overview of the life and times of Dr. Hank Pym. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. You can also let us know who your favorite persona of the Scientist Supreme is. Ant-Man, Giant Man, Goliath, Yellow Jacket, or the Wasp. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We really like chatting comic booky stuff, so feel free to connect with us on there. 
Until next time, I will be conducting my own experiments with an old bottle of pin particles that I found in the back of my Xterra. Ah!